David Weiland is our first guest. David's an attorney. Yes. Real estate mostly? Uh, construction, real estate, contracts, some business con consultation. And you're with uh, a company called Coleman and Horowitz. Correct. And that's out on Shaw. What's the address? Or how 499 West Shaw, Suite 116. And who should talk to uh, a, uh, a real estate attorney or somebody who does what you do? Is it just when things go bad, when your house falls down, you want to sue the guy who built it or something like that? Well, my firm represents a lot of businesses that are involved in uh, real estate, construction, um, design, um, any kind of a business startup mm -hmm. where they need contracts drafted or uh, created, anyone that's thinking of incorporating. Uh, we also do a fair amount of estate planning mm -hmm. for people that have existing businesses and are looking to protect their, uh, their estates. Who should use a real estate attorney? Anybody who's buying a house or does it have to be a big transaction? Well, it's interesting. You know, people don't think twice about spending several hundred thousand dollars to buy a house, mm -hmm. but they won't think to have the contract documents for that purchase reviewed by an attorney and spending a few hundred dollars to do that. And uh, most often that's a very wise investment. Yeah, because a, a, a contract, just a regular traditional contract, it's gonna cost them a million dollars or something for you to look at. It's fairly inexpensive, I'd imagine. Well, no, most real estate contracts are on a standard form um, that's uh, published by the uh, California Association of Realtors, but it has a lot of clauses in it that uh, an attorney's eye can pick up in terms of whether you should agree to that clause or not agree to it and what's best for a particular transaction. I guess one of the biggest issues I see, I'm in real estate and I see sometimes people don't get their deposits back and a lot of time it's because how their realtor or their real estate professional represented them that they, the, the uh, realtors aren't always highly trained at the art of contracting. Well, most realtors are about marketing and selling property. Mm -hmm. um, they have basic training in contracts, particularly in the California Association of Real Estate Forums. But when it comes to the nuances of interpreting contracts and what the courts say about contracts and particular clauses and so forth, you really need an attorney for that. Mm -hmm. Now, what about selling a house? There's a lot of new laws now that uh, a seller, if they don't make the right disclosures, they could get in some trouble. Yeah, disclosures have been an issue in, in California for real estate contracts for many years. Uh, there are a lot of specific requirements that are contained in the um, civil code dealing with uh, what you have to tell the buyer uh, when, you're, when you're selling a house. So those are all very important to know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so what's the main thing? You don't do just houses. You probably do a lot bigger types of transactions. Well, personally, most of my clients are uh, subcontractors, general contractors, owners, um, developers, architects, engineers, uh, people that are involved in one way or another in the construction of, of houses, shopping centers, any kind of a real estate development or construction project. And so they're coming to you? Yes. Hopefully. If yes. you're watching, <laughs> I, wish they would, I wish they would come to me more often at no. the beginning rather yeah. than at the end. Uh, unfortunately, a large portion of my work is involved with dealing with problems that come up after the fact, and then you're, you're dealing with how to how to make it better mm -hmm. than, you, you, than it you is. You end up fixing it rather you than saving it. Well, which is cheaper, uh, fixing it at the end or uh, getting ready in the beginning? Uh, you probably know the answer to the <laughs> question. Set it's way cheaper to fix it at the beginning than it is at the end. Yeah. Unfortunately, in construction, because there's so many dollars typically involved in an average project, trying to fix it at the end becomes difficult because there's always a lot of money at mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. I once uh, sold a property to a guy who had some money to invest and he wanted a triple net lease property and he insisted on buying one out of state and uh, you know I, I cautioned him against it and asked him to see a lawyer etc 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 bought this triple net lease property and then the company that uh, was leasing left you know and he put a, a million dollars into the property and uh, probably an attorney might have said don't buy an out of state property or something whatever you know, I don't want to second guess what you'd say, but he could have saved a lot of money by uh, getting 
getting some wise advice. It's not just contracts. It's just the advice, I would guess. Yeah, and that, in that particular case, he would have been wise to get an attorney from that particular state mm -hmm. because the, the real estate contract laws vary a lot from, from state, state to, to state. state yeah. And so it's, it's really important to know uh, what jurisdiction you're in when you're purchasing any kind of real estate. Now, we're running out of time, but I, I'd like you to get everything you can. How should people reach you? Should they go see your, your website? What should their approach be? Well, Corman, Coleman Horwood has a, a very interactive website. It's at www.chlaw.com. Um, uh, CH Law, like Coleman and Horwood, chlaw.com. CH hyphen law.com okay. and uh, our offices are located at 499 West Shaw Avenue Suite 116. Uh, we've been there since 1994. Uh, 20 attorneys. We handle wow. just about every area of the law other than criminal defense or family law. How long have you been at this law business? I've been practicing law since December 9th, 1992. Wow, I was I've, just a teenager. I should also add I'm a, I'm a licensed civil engineer as oh. well. Uh, and have been since 1974. So you bring so, some real practical experience yes. to I've been laws. doing this for a long time. Okay. Uh, David Weiland from the office of Coleman and Horwitt, uh, ch-law.com. Correct. Uh, or uh, I think your phone number's on the screen. I can't see it, but can you just give it out? Sure. It's 559-248-4820. Uh, okay. And good news, uh, Athena is in the house. We're going to send our attorney out to find her and get her out of whatever trouble she is in. But my goes, I'm Athena here. has arrived. So thank you, David Weiland, for joining us. And we'll be back with more right thank after this. Thank you for having me.